In a recent Twitter exchange, David Schwartz, uh, the chief technical officer of Ripple, uh, weighed in on the ongoing discussions surrounding the XRP ledger forks of Ho. Uh, the discourse was ignited for by uh, Saul, a prominent figure in the XRP community who drew an analogy between XRPL and Nokia, uh, suggesting that Zaho might play the role of Apple uh, potentially overshadowing XRPL in the same way Apple did to Nokia. Uh, Schwartz's response to this analogy uh, was both insightful and comprehensive. He began by drawing parallels to the early days of Bitcoin. Uh, I remember in the early days of Bitcoin, everyone thought that no um, cryptocurrency could ever overtake Bitcoin because Bitcoin had first mover advantage. And a technical advantage was impossible, Schwartz remarked. Uh, he went on to highlight that the Ethereum, despite coming later, uh, managed to adopt technology that was superior to Bitcoin in certain critical ways. Uh, the Ripple CTO emphasized the agility of newer blockchains, stating, newer blockchains that start smaller uh, can be more agile and can develop and prove new technologies, work with real money, and without risking the stability of existing uh, L1 chains. He also pointed out that while existing chains have the capability new to, to any rate new technologies, they often have valid reasons to refrain from doing so. First, uh, Schwartz's most salient point was uh, his perspective on the relationship between old and new chains. Um, he stated, most importantly, I think the idea that a new chain will detract from an old chain um, is uh, an extremely unlikely thing to worry about. Um, we should be working together to grow the pie rather than resenting something new that can grow with the pie for everyone because it takes a slice. The recent release of the Zaha White Paper by XRPL Labs has stirred significant interest within the XRP community. One of the standout features of Zaha is the introduction of hooks, which brings the capability of smart contracts to the chain. However, it's essential to understand but Zaho is not necessarily in direct competition with XRPL. And the Ripple CTO's comments underscore the idea that blockchain evolution is not a zero-sum game. You know, older chains like XRPL, with their history, infrastructure, and trust, can coexist harmoniously with the newer projects like Zaha, which are pushing the boundaries of innovation. Uh, as the sorts in Labo Crowd of the sorts Lablin and recently tweeted about the collaboration that led to Jago expressing pride uh, in the joint effort with entities like uh, GateHub, Alloy Networks, and Evernote XRPL, he emphasized, uh, uh, we believe this is it, 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 the best way to get hooks, uh, lightweight smart contracts for the, the XRPL protocol out there. Now we can we can shortly start building all the reference things we've envisioned for everyday life utility powered by the XRP ledger protocol. And uh, over when reassured that XRP labs will continue to build software for the entire XRP ledger ecosystem. Uh, everything we build will be open for the entire ecosystem to benefit from, uh, we believe, a multi-chain XRP ledger protocol ecosystem can bring both the proven resilience uh, of XRP mainnet and the endless new possibilities of hooks when added. In conclusion, the emergence of Zao and its potential innovations does not spell the end for XRPL. Instead, it represents the evolution and expansion of the blockchain ecosystem where the multiple chains can coexist, each serving its unique purpose and audience, while Ripple could even profit from the development. At press time, the XRP price remained at a crucial price level, trying to reclaim the multi-month uh, trend line black.